I moved to LA for a bit and the band didn't, didn't really get on that that well and we, you know went in with you know two producers that we just saw Matt and you know it was just a little too much I think everything really and I think we know is that you know we kind of want to take the the band back to like you know me and Terry and well, we've done that now, but that's what we felt in LA. You know, we just wanted to take it back to me and Terry, and then, like the way we control everything we do musically and creatively. You know, and um, just find it like a struggle for, to have people also telling you how to play music sometimes. But it was our, ch you know, it was our choice to go in with producers. So I don't, I don't blame them really. It's just like you know, I think we went through and noticed that when we started recording in LA, and uh, it was just something that you know, we feel like we want to start doing more now. You know, it's just like. You know, produce and control our own stuff. The album took a while to record and get together, um, and it was kind of a little bit out of our control at one point, you know. And you know, I don't know. Like normally, I'd like to go and record an album. Like I, I like for it to take like a month, you know, not a year. And this one took a year, so I think patience would kind of soothe the soothe the record a little bit. And it's kind of about a lot of different things. It's kind of about us. And like, you know, we went through and it's also like kind of a, a joke in Terry because he's got no patience whatsoever. You know, he can't even go to the cinema. He goes like crazy. So, so he can't even sit still for like five minutes. So it's kind of a joke in him. And, and also like patience, you know, just for the time we're going through right now, you know. I think everyone needs a bit of it. So I think it's suited, every, you know, all that. stayed in this um, old dessert, like arc, like arc, I don't know, some sort of hotel, weird old hotel anyway, like 100 years old, crazy old place, and we were five people, and it was like 25 rooms, you know, so it was pretty ma massive, and um, yeah, it kind of reminded me a little, little bit of The Shining, a little smaller version of The Shining, you know, you kind of walk in like in long hallways in the middle of the night after sessions, and you just kind of felt like you were followed by some weird spirits, but um, you know, we inspired some stuff, but it was definitely a little spooky. I think you go through phases with songwriting, you know. Um, I'm always in different phases with the songwriting, really, like what I'm into and like what, you know, kind of like what stuff I like, take my inspiration from and stuff like that. But I think it's kind of similar. It's just, you know, it's obviously, a, we sound a little different from the Thief and Heartbreaker, you know. Like the songs are you know, a little bit more, I don't know if they're, melodic more melodies maybe that one was kind of like more it's a little like rootsy it was like you know guitar a vocal melody kind of vibe you know and now it's more just like got like a lot of uh melodies in my head for every song so it's more more melodies i think and yeah. uh, maybe a little like c more crafted maybe all the songs in the record give something different you know um uh i think lay down was one of the first songs i wrote and i was down in um in Tampa, Florida. That was like on the when we were touring the last record, and that that was kind of the first song that was like, you know, I wrote, and I was like, oh, I can kind of see where the record is going now. I think, you know, that was like the first one that really that really sort of showed some sort of way, I think, of like what to come, kind of thing. The recording was cool and it taught us a lot, you know. I think it was good, like everything that's like hard, hard, like the hard things with it, it's almost like good things, you know. Like looking back on it, I feel that taught us a lot and now I know exactly what I want to do for the next record, you know, and for, for the future recording, you know. And I think like, you know, it landed on a good, it landed in a good place and I think we ended up being really proud of it, you know. It was just like certain things along the way was hard, but, you know. It's supposed to be a little hard, isn't it? It's not supposed to be like, you know, dancing and like, it's not supposed to be like beach party, is it? So, so we're, um, you know, I think, I think it's, yeah, we're happy with it for sure. It feels good so far. We just got back from Europe. It seemed to have uh, hit pretty good there. And um, 
you know, America felt good on the last tour as well. So we're just gonna keep on like, you know, playing it everywhere and like putting videos out and working it for a while, you know. Yeah. That's the same time as we were like writing and recording a bunch of stuff for the next record. So we're just doing straight and busy. Hey, this is Pear from Alberta Cross, and you're watching Babel Music. Yeah. 